I want to make this official. Uh, I was one of the first to say that Donald Trump would win the Republican primary, as I said it six months before the primary voting began on June of 2015, well before others could get themselves to believe it. I thought he would win the Republican primary, and then later, as you guys saw, I thought there was a good chance that he could win the presidency. Uh, the video uh, has two parts. The beginning part where uh, there's a whole host of celebrities saying that Donald Trump can't win. And then I'm also in that compilation, but I never say he can't win because I don't believe that as you're gonna see it. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't waste my time because it's not worth my, you know, bothering to do anything with Donald Trump, uh, basically. In fact, I talked myself into it. Official TYT ban. Congratulations, Donald Trump. You're the second person ever in Young Turks history to be banned. Yeah, so now uh, he's running for president. He's going to affect other people in the race. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing here is we're going to show you his preposterous entrance into the race. But in order to modify our ban, we're going to block out his face, but not his hair. We will now be unblurring Donald Trump. Oh my God. He's one of only two people who have ever been banned on the Young Turks, Ann Coulter and Donald Trump. You get banned for being disingenuous. We believe that Ann Coulter does everything she does just for publicity. I don't think she means a word of it. Now, people we have not banned are people like Glenn Beck. Uh, now, we've only had two bans in the history of TYT. One was disastrous. Uh, we'll keep it real with you guys. Uh, that was on Glenn Beck. The two most likely candidates in the general election are Hillary Clinton and Rand Paul. But I went with Grand Paul, oh my God, is the Republican nominee in 2016. In the beginning, I had no idea Trump was gonna do this well. You can see Freak 16, and you can see uh, you know, what I thought back then, and I said on the record, I didn't think he had a chance, yada yada. And then, but as soon as he took the lead, uh, I was certainly among the first to say, no, 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 he's gonna hold the lead. Mm -hmm. Now that's abundantly clear, and on the record, you go back on the tapes, as Trump is running wild with the fields, I think in the end, that flame will, after a long, long burn, will finally flame out. I promise a second dramatic conclusion. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm now moving Bernie Sanders <laughs> to the favorite. Whoa! Uh, they say, oh, well, she's obviously going to win New York because she was the center for New York. That's not at all obvious. She was running against a Republican in New York, not against Bernie Sanders. Right. I'm calling it. Hillary Clinton, the winner of this presidential election. Oh, loser Donald. <laughs> it's come to this. A loser Donald going around said, oh, there's a uh, wide skilled uh, voter fraud. Of course, of course, it's an excuse. Of course it is. You know why? Because he knows he's going to lose. So now the spoiled little brat is going around, going, oh, yeah, but I'm going to take my ball and go home. I think you're going to be totally unfair to me. <laughs> Poor. Loser Donald. The final loss is only three weeks away. Ah, oh, it's gonna be good. Enjoy. And I thought, oh my God, Hillary's gonna win easy. So um, uh, I've got a lot more ramifications. Oh wow, for the Trump presidency. Uh, brace for impact. New York Times now saying the chance of a Trump presidency is ninety-two percent. Brace for impact. Okay. Look, you know what's still possible? My exact prediction. She wins Virginia, oh, Pennsylvania, shit. Colorado, and she pulls out New Hampshire uh, and, and, and gets Wisconsin and Michigan, in which case that would be the exact 272 um, that I predicted ahead of time. Fox yeah. is called Wisconsin for Trump. Really? Well, yeah. that's that. If, if that's Fox is right, Shore. first of all, this I'm not going for, okay? I want to make this official. Uh, I was one of the first to say that Donald Trump would win the Republican primary. I thought he would win the Republican primary, and then later, as you guys saw, I thought there was a good chance that he could win the presidency. Now, uh, as I was one of the first to say that his reign would begin, I'm now ready to be among the first to say that his reign will end, definitely. I thought, oh my God, I think he's only gonna last a year and a half. Now, I'm moving the clock even further. He might not last six months. Definitely. He's done. You could write it down in stone. He will not finish his first term. There's no way in the world he finishes 
four years. I'll predict right here for you, Chris. I think Donald Trump will leave office before his term is up. He'll be humiliated, embarrassed, and I know him. He's not gonna wanna That's, lose, and he's gonna run you for the You got hills. that bet all day long. Okay, let's get after it. Now, um, so look, Jake has made <laughs> some good predictions, and you know, this is most, this is in good fun. I could not disagree more. There's um, a little bromance between the two of them. You got that bet all day <laughs> long, Janky, you. <laughs> oh, you know you stop. Basically a little bit of channel surfing and I was like, there we are, yeah. there we are. And then I turned it on and it was John and Brett on Damage Report making fun of me. Oh no. <laughs> so you are so busted. I even took a picture of it. And they're talking about my predictions. <laughs> I got a new prediction for you, John Idola. <laughs> the prediction that Donald Trump will not be in office by the end of his term. Now, if you watch the Young Turks, you're not at all surprised by that. I've been saying that literally from day one. And so I'm actually quite shocked that he's lasted this long. But part and parcel of that prediction was at some point the economy crashes because Trump will do such maniacal things that he can't help but crash the economy. So we're teetering on that edge now. The economy is doing great. Trump has overseen six consecutive quarters of economic growth, big gains in corporate earnings. The stock market, which is now the longest bull market on record, has continued while he's been president. Consumer confidence is at its highest level since 2004. The National Federation of Independent Business Index, which measures sentiment for small business owners, is at its second highest level ever. In June, there there were actually more job openings than there were people who were classified as unemployed. That is a first for the US economy. And I had not calculated, which I should have, the depth of the weakness of the Democrats, how pathetic they are, that they wouldn't challenge him at all. But now get a load of this. Trump might resign because he thinks, well, I'm never gonna be prosecuted. Pelosi, these Democrats and these prosecutors are losers. I think that Donald Trump could shoot one of Pelosi's colleagues dead and I don't think that she would do anything about it, unfortunately. Just before we came on the air, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi taking the historic step, signing the two articles of impeachment against President Trump, one for abuse of power, the other for obstruction of Congress. And then the last part of it is Trump doesn't like being humiliated. You think he wants to go and lose 40 states, they're, they're gonna get slaughtered in this next election. So again, you're gonna think I'm overconfident, yeah, 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 I've heard it a thousand times before. So, <laughs> and, and, and if you remember, I've been saying all along, he's not gonna get impeached, he's gonna resign. I said, he's gonna wake up, you're gonna wake up one morning, you're like, Trump is gone, what do you mean he's gone? Yeah, this morning, he resigned, and people are gonna be like, what, right? So I, I'm never gonna be moved up. You're gonna be the last day in the office. I'm like, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you brought okay, up the tick, yeah, tick, yeah. tick, tick. So you mentioned the tick, 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 tick. So we had had a bet at one point about whether he would make it to the midterms. Yes. Which I don't think I ever got paid for. Um, but do you remember, do you remember at one point, TYT, we set up a pool, the resignation impeachment pool. Oh. And we each signed up for a month. Ooh, oh, this was gonna sting. So here's the thing, uh, I, I have to tell you, your month came and went. Oh, really? Do you wanna know what month that was? It was gonna be, it's early. It's, it's to be fair, it's October 21st, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, it's a while ago. <laughs> so yeah, I hear you, and that is fair to bring up. I'm not a Republican, so I don't uh, disagree Although you with didn't your facts. Pay. Mm -hmm. You didn't pay though. <laughs> that, that does make me more Republican. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Look, I, uh, I, I didn't know we had a physical bet. But if you look that up, find that I'll definitely pay you. I don't I hate remember. people I don't who remember. don't uh, pay bets. Five dollars anyway. But I, but I even acknowledge that I lost that bet to Anna. Uh, so mm. look, I, I, I thought for sure that it would happen before the midterms. I was obviously wrong about that. Um, and so, but, and, and if you watch the Young Turks a long time, you also know my timing is off and off. <laughs> <laughs> so the, it'll come true, but like way later than I realized, okay? Well, well actually to that point, the way later, so uh, for every remaining TYT employee that signed up for a month, it's come and gone. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the next, the only person whose time hasn't come and gone yet is Bart in the control room. He signed up for August 9th, 2024. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he might win this thing. I don't no, know. No way, I certainly no hope way. Not. I do hope not. Uh, I was thinking about it the other day. You guys know I like predictions. And so I was thinking about uh, what's his chances of, of winning? 
and I have it way lower than anybody else does. I have it at 12 and a half percent. Okay. I had it at 35 percent chance that he could win, which is significant. Now with the new polls in the last 24 hours, I'll bring it down to 10 to 15 percent. New poll out today. Now look, it's a you get it that it's not one poll doesn't mean it everything, but it does mean something. Not only do we have a new leader in Elizabeth Warren, she is beating Joe Biden by 10 points. So the big headline is Warren beating uh, Biden by double digits. But the correct headline should be Warren beating Bernie Sanders by seven points, because Biden is not in second. Sanders is in second. I, I've now got other reporters that I talk to who are uh, good folks, smart folks covering politics for a long time, and they get it too. Uh, what I've been saying from day one, if Biden slips to number two, he might as well be number 22, because he's goner. He's not gonna make a comeback. There is no comeback in Biden. He's stuck in the 1980s. Guys, he hasn't slipped a second. He slipped a third. Na 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 na, na na na, na na na. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Joe. Um, kind of. Uh, the last tweet of the night on, on election night for me was Elizabeth Warren is going to destroy Donald Trump in 2020. Okay. And here we are uh, on, on that dream's doorsteps. A progressive is going to be president. We're about to take the White House. Lo and behold, we were right, they were wrong, right? And we've been through this how many times? We were right and they were wrong. We were right and they were wrong. They never learn anything.